All right, so this is my audio setup. Um, as some of you know, I started using audio as my CRM um, for the workflow company uh, last week, and I've already started uh, playing around with it and starting to see a lot of potential uh, with you know what we could do with it. And so today I decided to create a very simple uh, workflow automation that basically takes all the people in um, my CRM and then run them um, for anyone that's missing their LinkedIn URL, um, populate this, uh, and we're gonna do that in Clay, but um, so there's uh, the CRM piece, which is uh, in Adio, and then we're gonna send some of this information over to Clay to basically do a little bit of research and find the LinkedIn URL, um, and then bring that information back uh, into Adio. And so uh, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, it requires uh, the stack of Clay plus Adio, uh, and just want to show you how that um, is done in here. Cool, so let's get started. Um, I've already set up the filters here on people so that uh, you can see that um, LinkedIn is empty, so we're only seeing 293 people here. Uh, and then their email address do not contain Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook. Um, and so these are the people here. Uh, and then I'm gonna go into the automation. And there's two components to this. The first is we have to send the person's email to Clay um, where we will do the enrichment uh, workflow. And then once that's done, Clay is going to send the webhook back to uh, Adio. And then we're gonna receive that and then uh, enrich our CRM record. Now. Um, this is because of the way that Clay set up. Like if Clay had a, if we could set up an API endpoint, uh, send send this information, right? Send this information to Clay, wait for Clay to do its thing and then receive back um, the enriched LinkedIn URL from Clay um, as a response to that API call. Uh, then we could do it in one um, automation uh, workflow. But uh, the way that Clay is set up, Clay can only receive a webhook uh, and then send out a webhook um, at the end of that. So this is why we need to sort of uh, separate this one workflow automation out into two different pieces. So if you go to the first one here, send person's um, email to Clay uh, to enrich LinkedIn URL. I'm currently doing this manually um, because there's a whole bunch of people that were brought into the CRM when I first set it up. And uh, there is, uh, I'm just gonna align this because I kind of like doing this. Uh, what was I saying? Right, so there's a whole bunch of people uh, that we're missing LinkedIn URL, so we're just doing bulk run. But um, that once I'm done with this, uh, I can I can change the trigger um, such that uh, whenever a new person gets created and we don't have their LinkedIn URL, uh, then it automatically triggers that person uh, that person's LinkedIn URL to be enriched, right? So we can we can make that change later. But for the time being, I'm going to manually run this. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm finding records of everyone, all the people that um, whose LinkedIn is empty, and then their email addresses are not personal, so their business uh, email, because those are the people that we would want to uh, to enrich with LinkedIn URL. And then we're just going to loop uh, through all the records that we find. So I've set the limit to 60, but I'm going to change that to 100. Uh, actually, I'm going to change it to 50 because my current workspace workspace settings uh, limit is set to 50. So I, I don't want this to error out. I'm just going to set it to 50 for now, but I can always increase that later. Cool. And then now it's going to uh, it's going to try to find up to 50 records. And then once it finds it, it's going to loop through them, right? And then it's going to send an HTTP, HTTP request to Clay. So here's the webhook receiving clay table that I have set up. Find person LI URL from email. Shout out to uh, Andreas because he shared a template um, doing this. And I was like, I don't want to spend time uh, trying to recreate, uh, like reinvent the wheel. Um, and so I basically took Andreas's um, template and just used it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it requires a Serper uh, subscription here uh, where we find the LinkedIn person's profile. Uh, but otherwise it's, it's quite straightforward with a little bit of um, AI sprinkled in there. But um, what I'm doing here is um, for every person in my CRM that doesn't have a LinkedIn URL, I am sending the following information. So I'm, I'm sending that person's record ID, and this is um, Adio specific, it's the record ID inside of Adio, but it's important to send this over to Clay because inside of Clay, we're gonna process and get their LinkedIn URL, and then we're gonna send back the um, the LinkedIn URL, or sorry, the, the record ID, right? Because that's how I know uh, to match the LinkedIn URL that we found to the same person, right? So you take the record ID, send it to Clay, and then when you receive that information back, you also want that record ID so that you know which record to update. Um, so we're sending that record ID, we're sending the full name of that person if it's available, and then we're sending that person's email uh, that we have on record. Um, and then I added this delay, but I realized that I don't actually need this. I'm going to delete this block here. Cool. So um, I'm gonna push change. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Uh, Cool. So this is the sending of the um, information and this is the receiving um, end. And so I just want to show you what that looks like. So um, actually, let's, let's go to Clay first, right? So Clay receives this information where, let's see, um, we're going to say, let's click on this one. And you can see, okay, cool. This is the person's email, uh, full name. We don't have it on record. And then um, Edio record ID is this. 
then what we do, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail because Andreas already did a really good job of um, having this uh, information uh, in his walkthrough. But basically, you look, uh, you parse out the um, the domain. So in this case, rootly.com. Um, then what you're going to do is also look at the email prefix and then try to guess the person's um, name based on the email prefix, which is Andre in this case. Uh, and then you're going to set up the search query that you're going to send to Google uh, through Serper. So that looks something like full name, you split it uh, if, if there is one. And basically just uh, is search for this person's name who works at this company uh, on the site, linkedin.com slash in, because in is the um, prefix for uh, person profiles on LinkedIn. Uh, and then you just run it through uh, Serper and then you send, it brings back a bunch of search results. And usually if you've done uh, good enough work uh, on this um, search query, the first uh, result is going to send you back the right LinkedIn URL. And so then you take that information and then finally you send that to uh, Adio. So right here, as I mentioned, LinkedIn URL is the enriched uh, person's LinkedIn URL after you found it in Clay. And then you also send back the Adio record ID that you received in the original webhook um, so that you can tie the LinkedIn URL to that Adio record ID. And what happens on the receiving end is over here. So you receive the webhook, um, webhook from Clay. You parse that JSON because that's how it's uh, that's how you receive that information. So um, Adio record ID is going to contain the record ID and the LinkedIn URL is the person LinkedIn URL. And then you're going to find that record based on the record ID, right? So record ID is, is equal to the parse JSON record ID. Uh, and you're just going to find that one person because record ID is unique. Um, and once you find that person, you're going to update that person um, with their LinkedIn, right? So you use the um, <clears throat> the Adio record ID and the LinkedIn URL uh, by the first one to find that record the with the record ID. And then second, you update with the uh, person LinkedIn URL. And that's it. And so let me show you what that looks like. Uh, I'm actually going to run this now. Um, so I'm going to trigger this manual workflow. Then, so it's triggered. Now it's finding records. And then now it's going to start looping through all of those records uh, and then updating them and then sending them to Clay. And you can see these webhooks come through right here, right, as you get this information. Uh, from Adio, and then it's doing its thing, sending it to Serper, trying to find that person. And when it does find someone, a uh, personal LinkedIn URL, then it's going to send that information back to Adio so that we can update uh, inside of Adio. Let's see. All of these people um, I've run through and I couldn't find uh, their information. Uh, many of them, you're, I'm getting a lot of um, no hits here because uh, a lot of them are ones that I tried to run this workflow earlier before recording this and I couldn't find them. Uh, but it's because uh, some of them are like Albert Einstein, uh, which obviously wouldn't work. Um, oh, there's one here. Uh, Kyle Nichols Nicholson, we were able to find their LinkedIn URL. So then now we send it back to Adio. And if you look at Adio here, you can see, for example, it's running right now, right? So as we start receiving these results from Clay, these are running. Uh, and then where you see that is here under people. So again, see this person just came through, that person, and then they get erased because uh, we're filtering then it's empty. But you can see that this number 274 is going to start decreasing. I think it was 295 or whatever when we first started. But you can see the count decreasing as we find the LinkedIn URL um, of these people, and then uh, they get filtered out because we're only looking at people with uh, with LinkedIn, right? So 270. Um, and this is them running. Yeah, it is. So uh, then I can run this again. But um, Oh, and then the last thing that I want to um, share is obviously if um, you do this manual, I'm doing this manually because there's a whole bunch of people that I need to enrich uh, because I just started using Adio. But uh, once that's done, what I would do is um, instead of manually triggering this, I would say for the trigger uh, something like, let's actually just take a look at this. Instead of manually running this, I would change this to uh, when a record is created and then the person, the record would be uh, person. Um, and then also, I can add a condition uh, after this to see um, if their LinkedIn URL exists or not. If it exists, then don't do anything. If it doesn't exist, uh, then obviously um, uh, continue with the, with the workflow to uh, send information to Clay and uh, update their LinkedIn URL. So that's it for a very simple CRM enrichment inside of um, Adio and Clay. Hope you f hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments. Thanks.